So this section is all about solving equations, but specifically it's about solving linear equations. So I'll explain what a linear equation is and what I want to solve in, in one variable. But essentially it's just a, just a big review of solving equations. And it, this is a good section because it gets you into the habit of solving equations and it, tells, it gives you a feel for when you're doing it correctly or incorrectly. So let's first of all quickly define a linear equation. A linear equation has to have two criteria. The criteria are that the exponent on each variable has to be a 1 and also the no number can be divided by a variable. So if these two criteria are met then we know that we have a linear equation. So let's start with an example. Let's say we have the equation 7x plus 12 equals 3x minus 4. So this is a one variable linear equation. Our variable is x and it's a linear equation because we have no exponents higher than 1 and also no numbers are divided by variables. So good, it's a linear equation. To us right now it doesn't really matter much because all we want to do is we need to simplify and see if we can solve. So. When we have an equation like this, one of the first things you might notice is that you have x's on both sides and you have numbers on both sides. So what we're going to do is, like always, see if you can simplify the left or the right side of the equation. We can't because we have no like terms on the left or the right. So let's go ahead and just use the addition property of equality as much as we can so that later on we can move to the multiplication property of equality. We can use the addition property of equality to move our variables to the left or to the right. I'm going to choose to move my variables to the left. So I'm going to take this 3x and move it over to the left. When I do that, my 3x's will cancel out, and I'll be left with 7x minus 3x on the left. That leaves me with a 4x. Let me bring everything else down. Plus 12 equals negative 4. I'm going to use the addition property of equality again to move that 12 over to the right because that 12 is mixed in with the num with the variable x which I don't want. I want the variable to be left alone because my goal, remember, is to get x equals some number. So when I do that, my 12s cancel out and I'm left with a 4x equals negative 4 minus 12 which is negative 16. Finally, I'm done with the addition property of equality. Now let me use the multiplication property of equality to isolate x. And if I have 4 times x and I want to isolate x, I can divide both sides by 4. And I'm left with an x equals negative 4. You should check that. And I'll leave the check up to you. So you should check that. Let me try another example because I know these can be a little bit tricky. So let's say we have 40 minus 5y plus 5 equals negative 2y minus 10 minus 4y. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to simplify both sides. So let's start by simplifying the left. So in the left side of the equal sign I can simplify the constants 40 and 5. I can add those two together. When I do that I get 45 and the negative 5y can just stay there. Now let me simplify the right side. Now that I'm done simplifying on the left side. On the right side I can combine 2y and negative 4y. When I combine those two I get negative 6y minus 10. Once I'm at this step I can start using the properties of equality to solve. So first let me exhaust the addition property of equality as much as I can. So the first thing I want to, want to do is get all my variables to one side, all my numbers to the other. So let's start with the variables. We can move them to the left or the right. It doesn't matter. Let me move the 6y over to the left. So when I do that, I add 6y to both sides. My 6y's cancel out. My right side of the equal sign ends up being just negative 10. And my left side ends up being 45 
plus 1y because negative 5y plus 6y is 1y. Let me use the addition property of equality again to isolate that y. So I'm going to subtract 45 from both sides now. When I do that, my 45s cancel out, and I'm left with y equals negative 55. That's it right there. So I didn't even need to use the multiplication property of equality this time. And again, I'll leave the check up to you. Let me give you some examples that you can try out on your own. So one of the examples that you can try out is 6 times a minus 5 equals 4a plus 4. Another example is 4 times x plus 3 plus 1 equals 13. In both of these examples, simplify the left side of the equation, which means distribute, before you start solving the equation. And then once you simplify the sides of the equation, you'll be good to go.